you got clutch. What's going on, people? It's your main man, Johnny Clutch Cards, aka Johnny Clutch Crypto, and we are back again with our Helium Weekly update. And let's see how we are doing. But first, let's cover the numbers. 367,791 hotspots all over the world. Um, a 30-day trend, as you can see, we're steadily increasing every single day as more and more hotspots come out. The map is looking more and more green, and that is a very, very good thing. Um, the current market price of Helium is $38.74. It's been down, uh, down another 1.28% just today uh and it's been dropping uh pretty steadily along with like you know stock market and, and bitcoin and other things uh over the last week week and a half uh since the holidays really um 28 million helium staked at this point in time and let's dig into our hotspots so let's scroll down here we're going to take a look at our primary. This was the last week or so, the holiday and everything um, has been pretty decent to us. Um, as you can see, our guy, Red, Red Car Carmine Otter, he was out of commission for some point in time. But as you can see, he is getting witnesses uh, over the last 24 hours, 2.8 HNT. Uh, his seven day average is 9.8. That's because he was kind of off for a while. But he still managed to put up 51 HNT in the last 30 days. <laughs> bananas, bro. Bananas. Bananas. We got to we got to find out. If you are a rare car mine otter, I want to know what you're doing. Please hit me up. All right. So, we, you know, November was a really rough month, month for us. On our primary one, as you can see, over the last 24 hours, we racked up 0.749 HNT over the last seven days. We're, we know we're move we're, we're strengthening back up. We're at 4.524 HNT over the last seven days. Over the last 30 days, 10. So you can see we put on the last seven days, we put up 4.5, which is pretty much half of that. So that, that pretty much tells you that really from if you look at look here from November 15th all the way to November 22nd, we were getting pretty much no HNT. It was like steadily sinking, you know, blockchain was down, all kinds of stuff going on. So, uh, you know, but that's neither here nor there. You know, things appear to be getting back to normal, which is good. Uh, we got 29 witnesses and the witness list looks pretty good. Um, so things are moving in the right direction there, which is, you know, really all you can ask for. When you get when you really get down to it, that's really all you can pretty much ask for is that, you know, things be moving in the right direction. So let's take a look here. All right. Yeah, it's going to be right there. No, there. All right. Let's move on to wonderful jet black marmot. This is our office box. This is our eight DBI antenna. 45 meters up. Um, we racked up 0.653 over the last 24 hours, over the last seven days, 5.8 HNT, which is terrific. Um, and over the last 30 days, 17.052 HNT. Uh, also, you can see there was some dead time here and some down, a couple of down days here and there. Um, these Bobcats were surprisingly less affected by some of the stuff. My sense cap, I think, took a bigger hit as uh, far as uh, rewards were concerned. And uh, let's see our witness list here. 66 witnesses. I mean, this is just terrific. And it is right up against a window, unfortunately. But, you know, when you're in a building, how can you avoid but to be somewhere near a window? <laughs> At any rate... Um, it looks like this one is, you know, as, as we suspected for some time was going to be the one that uh, really was going to be able to uh, have some profound effects on it. And think about this, like, you know, 45 meters up, 8 DBI antenna, and we can't even, we still can't compete with Carmine Otter. 
like if we put up, let's see, if we put up that that point six five every day, I don't think uh, at the end of the month we say point six five times what thirty days. You know, we're looking at like nineteen point five. So how how he how he's getting a fifty one? I have no clue how that works, but I really want to find out if you know how that if you know how that works. And it's not something illegal. It's not something, you know, uh, spoofer, you know, some type of spoofing thing going on. And there's a legit way to do that. Then I would definitely love to hear uh, suggestions on how I could get those types of rewards that we see that we were seeing with rare Carmine Otter. Matter of fact, I think there was a big dog over here. Let me see if he's over here. Scruffy Aqualine, right? Scruffy Aqualine is one that. This is the one where I felt as though like if I could get like this one, we would be good. Now you can see this one is 60 meters up on with an 8 DVI antenna on a sense cap. On a sense cap. Uh, the, it's relayed, right? No, it has a suboptimal transmit scale. And it's, it's still clearing one HNT per, per day. Like 8.6 over the last seven and over the last 30, 33.3 HNT. So this is one that I definitely did see first. And that gave me the idea that, hey, you know, this could really, really work. And how many witnesses? 114 witnesses. So I wonder how that's being had. If he's like maybe clearly outside or on top of a building. You know, maybe that's how that's working. But I'll be I'll be very interested to see how Scruffy Aqualine is making his stuff happen too. Um, but that's you know, that you know, we will take our wonderful jet black marmot and it's um, you know, 0 0.65, 5.8 a week. You know, we can definitely do that. Five point eight a week, um, at the current prices, you know, two twenty five a week, um, just for you know, helping the people's network be provided. So we think that's pretty awesome. Um, also, during the holiday, I did get a chance to go here and upgrade the antenna here. Now, the thing that I've noticed, I've upgraded the antenna, which, you know, before, I think there was maybe one or one here, maybe one here, maybe two witnesses. Now, it looks like there's three witnesses, but they all have sub optimal transmit scales. Now what I did install, I got uh, a set of rack wireless 5.8 DVI antennas and uh, applied that here, right? So I put the 5.8 DVI antenna uh, on this, on this, on this Bobcat and it's been running since last Sunday. Yeah. Last Sunday. So today is like Wednesday night. So it's been running for three or four days. Um, and you can see that the results have not really changed. I mean, 0 0.055, point, you know, I mean, it's, you know, the HT rewards are very minimal. Keep in mind, this is just on a table in a room uh, near a window, single pane window. Um, and, you know, we were running with the, with the standard antenna, the standard uh, 3DBI Bobcat antenna prior to this, and we were getting very minimal results. And it doesn't really seem like there's much improvement. Now, I don't know whether to blame that on the rack wireless antenna or to blame it on the setup itself, or possibly I think there are some burglar bars or something there. So maybe the burglar bars are having an effect on it. But I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent sure. This is something that we're going to have to continue to troubleshoot to see if we can get, you know, better results. Because, you know, at this particular pace, um, at this particular pace, if we look at this over 30 days, one H&T um, per month um, at, a, at a one H&T per month pace, you know, we would be looking at a very long time to pay ourselves back on the investment of the Bobcat and the antenna. So, you know, there's that. So we have some wins. We have some, <laughs> we have the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? So we continue to work on our setups. Um, you know, this one is on the ground. 
uh, is, you know, on the ground practically, um, whereas the one at my house is in the attic. And obviously our wonderful jet black marmot is up in the sky, is up in the up in the sky uh, in, in, in the building. So there you have it. Let's take a look at our hot spotty, um, hot spotty here. And and just, you know, look at our overall, our 24 week average, 24 hour weekly average. So, yeah, 0 0.04 HNT. Over 24 hours, 0 0.06 HNT. That's for our nutty chiffon hair, right? Um, and these other two are pretty much, you know, kind of neck and neck, 0 0.58 and 0.65, even though, you know, they're drastically different setups, right? One got the ADBI, one has a 5.8, one's in a home, the other's in a building, right? So, you know, these are just some of the things that we're noticing as we begin to work work on it. Obviously, I think, you know, your witnesses and then your transmit scales, the transmit scales of your witnesses must, you know, obviously play a role into the amount of reward that you're getting. Um, because we, you know, as you can see on the Nettie Chiffon hair, all those People, I was just really thinking that similar to our 5.8 dBi um, Nebra antenna that we use here, that adding this one to the Nutty Chiffon hair would improve the reach. Um, and I just haven't seen that as of yet. Um, the other thing is that um, currently the Helium app won't let you do uh, a the, the beacon test where you can kind of try to beacon out to uh, and see if you can get uh, additional wit uh, additional witnesses or, or communicate with additional hotspots um, as a way of testing to get, you know, to see how, how far your reach is and, you know, who you can hit. Um, so what we may try to do is, you know, try to get that higher up in this particular uh, location where the Nutty Shift Fine Hair is, like it, it, there's an attic, but it's a very narrow, uh, a very narrow uh, opening, which means your boy probably can't fit. So <laughs> I'm gonna try not to hurt myself uh, and still get uh, an increase in rewards uh, as far as our helium rewards are concerned. Um, but I mean, I guess in a nutshell, that's it. You don't always get what you want here. Um, but that's that's what we're doing. HNT is still going pretty well. Um, we, we have a bunch of HNT kind of racked up. I'm going to try to wait until um, the end of the year or the beginning of next year to pull some out and kind of pay myself back for all of the equipment, be able to pay off all the equipment. Um, I think we, we have enough in there now. Um, we really did back when the price was up around 50 bucks. Like if we jump here to the coin gecko here and you see we were, we were riding high at around 50 bucks. And, you know, over over the holiday, pretty much, it kind of retracted back down to about 40 bucks, 45 bucks. And now it's a little bit under 40 bucks. So we'll see if it if it doesn't run up. Maybe there'll be another huge announcement. We'll see how POC V11 uh, actually works, if it helps to get some spoofers out, off the network. But from what I've seen thus far, I still, uh, you know, just looking at some of the other guys like Nerdy Dude stuff who does... Uh, who does like a weekly live stream tech hustler does a weekly live stream. They go over different uh, hotspots and their locations and things like that. Um, it seems like there's still spoofers out there. Um, there's still people gaming the system. Um, so hopefully some of those, some of those things kind of, you know, work themselves out. In the meantime, we're going to work on our setups, try to improve those setups and try to get us some of that cold hard H and T into our wallets so that we can, you know, continue to buoy the people's network. At any rate, that's all I got for you guys this week. I will see you next week. My name is Johnny Clutch Cards, a.k.a. Johnny Clutch Crypto. I am always for the people. By the people, you only got me and the Constitution. Remember that.